Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be explaining about IBGP, Internal Border Gateway Protocol. This is the second variant of the uh, inter-domain protocol that is BGP. The first variant was EBGP, which I have explained in the previous session. To make you understand the working of IBGP, I have written the same network diagram so that it is easy for you to compare the working also. In this particular protocol, mainly why we are going for internal border gateway protocol. Look at the two problems that we are facing in, in external border gateway protocol. These two problems I have written over here. Some border routers do not know how to reach networks of non-neighboring autonomous systems. That is definitely true. Some of the routers means here you can see some of the border routers AS2. Okay, AS2 is a neighbor to AS1. Do not know how to reach networks of non-neighboring autonomous systems. The neighboring routers, the non-neighbors are AS4 and AS3. Similarly, AS4, okay, it is a neighbor to AS1, but it does not know how to reach AS3 and AS2. So, this is one problem existing and one more problem is none of the non-border routers know how to reach the networks of other at all. This is what I explained in the previous session at the end of the session I told non-borders. Now, in AS1, if you see R3 is a non-border router. Okay, R3 does not know how to reach networks in other autonomous systems. R4 know, knows how to reach in AS4, R1 knows how to reach in AS2, R2 knows how to reach uh, in AS3, but R3 does not know to reach what? How to reach networks in other autonomous. So, to address this problem, the IBGP variant has to get installed on all routers, border routers as well as non-border routers, so that we will have uh, sessions getting established between all routers. Fine. So, already in this diagram, I have shown EBGP session okay, between these border routers. Now, let me show you the IBGP sessions that are getting established. So, for example, if you take now, let us start with first border router. We will begin with AS1. AS1, the border router is R1. Now, R1 will establish internal sessions, means with all the routers that are present in its autonomous system only. So, we say those sessions are IBGP sessions. Even for this session, okay, this particular session to exchange the messages, it makes use of the TCP protocol and the port number is 179. Now, which how now just see R1 is uh, having how many other routers in its autonomous R2, R3, and R4. Definitely, it has to have sessions with those. So, I'll show those sessions with the dotted line, fine. And I'll tell you, okay, this is the first session. One more, okay, with the same number, I will use it. Second and here. Okay. So, it is sending a message to R4, R3 and R2. That message number I have indicated with number that is here number 1 and that number I have written here to show what is the message. The message is to all the internal routers, it is trying to convey that you can first it will convey only about because R1 knows what the networks that are present in AS2. You can see here this is the EBGPA session established. So, it knows what are the networks that are present in AS2. AS2 if you remember. AS2 has got N8 and N9. So, it will write, okay, you also can reach N8 and N9. It is conveying message to the routers that are present in its autonomous system that you all can reach the networks N8 and N9 via which one? Next router will be R1. And which are the autonomous systems related here? Autonomous system 1 and AS2. So, this is the message. Before we also establish session, okay, with its internal routers. Okay, this one with this, then one more session is possible here and one more session is possible here, isn't it? So, here I can write down the messages that are sent to the internal routers. But R4, what message it will convey? Because R4 is the border router to which one? AS4. AS4 has got which uh, N, N13 and N14. These are the three, uh, two networks that were present in AS4. So, here the message number 2, I can indicate in this table N13 and N14. And the next router is R4 and the autonomous systems are which one? AS1 and AS4. And this is how the message to. Similarly, now you can see there is one more border router in autonomous system 1. So, it will also establish the connection. So, with what? With its other routers internal uh, session. So, it will with R1, then it will have with R3, then with R4. This is the message 3. So, message 3 R2 is connected to the border router of AS3 and AS3 has got N10, N11 and N12. If you remember the previous diagram I have shown 
these were the networks that were present in AS3. So, AS3 can write what AS3's message will be what? AS3, uh, sorry, R2's message will be that is message number 3 to AS3 will be what? It is trying to convey to R6 that you all can reach now because R2 knows which networks that are there present in the network, uh, sorry, which networks are there in AS1. So, it will try to write down which AS1 has got N1, N2, N3 and N4 and it will say you can reach via R2 autonomous systems, the related ones are AS1 and AS3, fine. So, hope you have understood now, first uh, R1 is carrying out the internal sessions, message is here, the next R4, then R2, okay. So, in this diagram, in autonomous system, we had three border routers and these three border routers have uh, established internal sessions with their uh, with the routers that are present in their autonomous system. Whereas, if you go for AS2, AS2 does not have any routers at all. This is the only router that is present here. So, there is no nothing to uh, get test. That means there is no internal sessions needed here. And AS3, AS3 is having two more routers in this session. So, definitely it has to uh, establish the internal sessions. So, it will establish the internal sessions. And what is the message? What is the message number now? We have shown here three messages. Let us show this with fourth message. So, it is trying to uh, send message to all the other two routers that are present here and the message is message number 4. So, 4 let me indicate here. So, what does 4? 4 will convey that is R6 will convey to R2 that you can reach the networks that are present in AS3. AS3 is N10, N11 and N12 via which router? R6. What are the other two autonomous systems that are there? AS3 and, and which one? AS1. So, we are actually writing here two name, uh, two uh, autonomous systems, it is like a path you can tell. The next one, this column is like uh, the path. So, this way you, you have seen that internal BGP sessions are getting established within each autonomous system to convey to their routers that you all can also reach the networks of uh, networks that are present in other autonomous systems. But to make this happen, you have to take care about what? For all the border routers, okay, all the border routers in this diagram, you have to install eBGP, iBGP and intradomain. Definitely intradomain is also needed because to get the information to reach networks present within itself, within their autonomous systems, that is internally, you require intradomain. So, even this is required. But for the non-border routers, you need only the iBGP and the intradomain. Okay. For non-border routers, you require these two to get installed, IBGP and intradomain. And intradomain, I told you, know, it can be either RIP or OSPF. These two are the uh, popular protocols under the intradomain. So, this is all about the interdomain border gateway protocol. Just to summarize, I will tell you, it has got two variants, EBGP, external border gateway protocol and IBGP, internal border gateway protocol. So, the, the sessions that are getting established, okay. In eBGP, we call it as eBGP sessions and that are established only between or they uh, connected between what? Only between the eBGP speakers. Whereas in iBGP, the sessions are established within the routers. That is the other routers that are present internally in each of their autonomous systems. So, this is the working of what? The internal border gateway. This is how you have to write down. If a question is asked on uh, iBGP, then you just if there is no diagram given in the question, you can uh, come out with your own uh, simpler diagram and give the explanation. But if a diagram is given in the question paper, then for that diagram, if they are asking you in the question, how, what are the messages that are getting exchanged, then you have to uh, write these messages, whatever I have shown. This way you can do it for eBGP also. If, if a diagram is given, if only messages are to be written, that is actually a very simple question. But if it is asked for you all to come out with the explanation, then you yourself are going to write one diagram and then uh, give the complete explanation and show the different messages that are getting exchanged between the uh, routers, that is the border routers and non-border routers. Hope this session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.